my name is Samantha and today I have a really cool, really simple, but fun experiment for you to try today. So for today's experiment, we're going to build our very own rocket. Now I'm not talking about the rockets that you necessarily launch out in space. This one is much simpler and much, much faster. All you need for this experiment are a tea bag, a lighter, a plate. So. The first thing that you're going to do is take your tea bag, and what you're going to do is get rid of all the tea inside, as well as any staples or any extra string like this that might be attached to it. So what you can do is either just pluck it out with your fingers, or you can also get a pair of scissors and then just snip it off like that. Next, what you're going to do is take your tea bag, unfold it, and then empty out the tea. So I have a mug right here. And what I'm going to do is take the tea bag and empty the contents of the tea leaves so that I can drink it for later. So the next thing you're going to do is take your plate and unfold your tea bag so that it becomes a nice sort of cylinder. So you just want to undo all the creases. And then what you want to do is stand it upright on your plate. I'm just going to trim these edges off so that it's flat. And then for our very last step, it's time to set our tea bag on fire. Okay, so that was a lot of fun for me. I hope that it's as just as fun for you guys. Just remember that after your rocket launches, it'll obviously have to come back down. So make sure you use a plate or some kind of dish to catch any of the ashes that might fall, um, just so that you may clean up easier later. Anyway, uh, so now I guess let's get into the science behind this experiment. So the main thing that causes this rocket to fly is due to the movement of what we call air molecules. And air molecules are basically very teeny, teeny pieces of air. So when you set the tea bag on fire, it generates heat and causes the air molecules trapped inside of your tea bag to heat up. And when they heat up, they move farther apart from each other, they bounce all over the place, and cause the inside air of the tea bag to become less dense. Denseness or density is essentially the number of particles or molecules inside a particular amount of space. So if your molecules are more spread out, there are less molecules in the same amount of space as would be in cold air. So now that you have less dense, hotter and warmer air on the inside of your tea bag, that less dense air is able to rise above the colder outside air, which generates or creates what we call a current, or specifically a convection current, where your hot air rises up and out, and then your cooler air tries to come in and under. And this movement of air is strong enough to overcome the weight of the remains of the tea bag, causing it to shoot upward into the air like a rocket. Anyway, I hope that you guys have a ton of fun with this experiment. Try and make it a competition with people that you live with. See who can get the highest distance with their rocket. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you want some more cool experiments. 
I'm just going to enjoy some tea that I made with that leftover tea bag. See ya.